don't you ever receive hate? Yeah, yeah. I personally think that cyberbullying is something mm -hmm. that's really prevalent nowadays. You shouldn't respond to those haters. People have an opinion on everything these days. You know what? Whenever I vlog, I always tend to say that I'm single on camera. Like, have you ever experienced that? Parang, have you ever overshared on Twitter? Actually, I'm the same. I, I really put in every post of my like, hashtag, I'm single. And to the point, <laughs> I think my friends are pretty like, okay, Carls, we get it. You guys. <laughs> Actually, I'm a victim of oversharing on Snapchat. Like, I snap so much every day. Yeah, and you know, like, the funny thing about that pa is yung hashtag TMI. So, you know naman pala, that's <laughs> TMI. Yeah, that's true. So, there's a disclaimer. <laughs> But like, don't you ever receive hate? Like, does anyone ever insult you for like, Uy, alam naman namin single ka, kaya ka naman single kasi tweet ka ng tweet eh. Yeah. I think that happens also a lot. I mean, like, the hating culture, yeah. like, sometimes yeah. people make it, like, anonymous pa, but you already yeah. know who you're talking about. How, how do you deal with that? Like, how do you personally deal with that? Because ako parang I just tune them out, like, oh, you're hating on me, you're hating on my height, I know I'm short, I'm just gonna mute you. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's the right thing to do. Like, you shouldn't respond to those haters and you should try to be um, the bigger person yeah. about it. Yeah, and there's a reason why there's a mute button, guys, and there's an unfollow <laughs> yeah. button. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. But of course, I'm still an advocate of like confronting, of course, but not usually this isn't done via social media because, yeah. of course, it's still better if you do it in a personal level. Yeah, yeah. I personally think that cyberbullying is something mm -hmm. that's really prevalent nowadays. But like for me, I'm just one to ignore it, yes. you guys. I think it's all about being careful with what you say, especially on Twitter. Like, no matter how strongly you feel yeah. about something, just phrase it the right way. People have an opinion on everything these days, and it's really important for us to like just filter what's really important to us. Yes, I agree. So, what about family on social media? Like, what kind of interactions do you have? Like, um, titas who really like comment on every post and all oh that. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually have a tita who always comments on all my profile pictures, and I'm just like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Please don't let <laughs> yeah. friends see this. But yeah, I mean, like, I really can't do anything about it, so I just let it happen, yeah. you guys. <laughs> well, me same. Like, I have this blockmate. Her Lola comments on everything, like all of her old block oh photos. That's how our block found out about her. Lola. <laughs> I have this one experience. My childhood friend and I, we always get shipped together. So oh, she wow. always, like she has this one tita who keeps commenting, si malakas at si maganda. And I'm like, tita, oh I know you're trying to be nice. But... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. At it's this so point, awkward. I think we should just really let them be, no? Because it's really their outlet and they're yeah. really just yeah. trying to connect with us. But it's <laughs> your connection, they yes. connect to the purpose. Yeah. <laughs> oh 